name, I put CS. Okay. If a message invalid users, please try again. Okay. It means now our collection and use procedure create a new function is successfully. Hello guys, welcome back to John Coder. Today we continue to next episode. We will provide action from C sharp application form connect to a database for create a login. And we will create a function, create a procedure in a data. So I hope you enjoyed the previous video how to create a form, create connection, how to create a table, how to create ER diagram. So let me clarify with you. One more thing is on the tables user login, I have provided column password. And this password we will encrypt in this step. But here I just example provide data for example for you. And okay. And I have created a two brand in the database. First brand is John's bookstore and second brand is Happy Store. He is a brand code. Okay. And I have created a users connect to brand 0101. Okay. Okay. After we have that as we go to create action from application form. Okay. Let's do that. And here's I will provide action and before action I need to first I need to create a new class. I put the name is PG parameters. Okay. Okay, in the class we need to create three variables. Name I provide string and put public string name and set get. Okay, and one more thing is I need to npg actual db ties. The name is npg ties and set get. And one more thing is public object value. I need to object and it is the value we need to provide. Okay. And set get set and get. Okay. So I have three right all here and I will go back into here's create a function. Okay, let me pass a function here. It is your function and I will put here pg parameters and replace and assign connection string and here is an pg ties. Okay, here is our variables. In connection, you need to provide here connection string. Yes. I need to provide connection string here. And okay, let to create a function like this. Then we go to create procedure in DB. Okay. So let's go to DB and create here. Right click, create, and I choose here procedures and PL, PGXUL. It is progress. Okay. Arise procedures. I declare like this users and login. Okay. And click OK. Parameter we need to have two and get one back. So I put the name is username and the data is charts and one more thing in the same is user pwd charts and others is in app. I need to get data to show in um, form. So I need to get data back. I put in app 
okay in s and right boy i put get result sorry result and the type is brief cost search okay and let's start a right code here i need to get a result back to i need to into here open open result false and enters from user login as you will do that user login equals username and you dot password equals password so and let to test what is going out so let me here and just i'll go like this and put here run okay nothing nothing to get so if i put the username correct username let me copy here and i put here run again no result password one two three run again okay now is get data okay if i put false here okay no data so let's to use it in Caesar. for sure it can get data or not okay so after we have function already we can we can declare here connection actual our class okay connection actual here and i put actual as new okay here we need to instant to use and create a, a data tables dts again for you okay Then we need to call our function that we already created in here to use. So after I extend here, I can use actual dot get data procedures. Okay, is execute procedures like this, and you will see here is have three parameter. One is procedures, second is parameter, and we get data out. Okay. So let me pass a value like this. So let me explain you. So one, we need to provide procedure. Second, we need to have our parameter piece and of digits. We need to get data back. Okay. So in here, we need to provide a list like this and we need to have a username and provide a value here and password and provide value here. And name here is we get from our procedures parameters, okay? And here's also. And then we can run here. So we need to copy procedure name and pass to here. After run, it needs get data in here, okay? Something wrong. Okay, I forget this one. Okay. Okay, let you run this and click here. Okay, it helps. Data or not? Okay, it helps. It means it's success to get data from our table. So let me put here is t t username dot state dot dream. Okay, and here is t t password the dream like this and let me check here if tdt dot row dot count greater than zero we continue to open for man okay so f or a man f or a man and f or a for going use 
this and me sorry if um does show okay if it is this need to show and then here is I put this dot highs okay and L okay L we will message like this invalid username and password please try again okay message icon and address let's run this a person uses name join goddess and come one two three okay correct user boom you can get manual and if I encourage a password or users name I put yes okay if you message invalid users please try again okay it means now our collection and use procedure create a new function is successfully the next step we need to create a week we will create a format here to a main form create a dashboard yes to use dashboard here okay thank you for watching i hope you can enjoy this video if you have any comment you can comment below i will try to answer and appreciate to answers okay thank you for watching